Hey Talvians, welcome to another video. As I told you before, I am starting to get this technology thing down. And with it being Friday night, I just wanted to do something crazy, just something fun, something quick. It's not gonna take much time, so let's jump into this. We're actually gonna do a little challenge called the Would You Rather. I know Jacksepticeye has done this and a couple of other YouTubers, and I just wanted to give it a try, because why not? So let's test out my new setup here and see if we can get this to work. So. Okay, so I found this with this com this website called Ether, Ether, I'm guessing is how you say it. And this is the first question that popped up so far. Um, so this is, would you rather never be able to wear shoes or not be able to touch anything red? I feel like it's a weird question, but okay, let's jump into this. Um, never be able to wear shoes. I feel like touch is big to me, but... I mean, my, I have baby feet. I'd never be able to survive not wearing shoes. So that would have to be a lot. So next question, uh, never be able to touch anyone again, never be able to talk to anyone again. Again, I'd have to go with get rid of touch because I feel like if you don't talk to people, it just, you know, it, it causes problems. So next <laughs> okay this is like impossible and you spelt league wrong by the way anyway be in the justice league or be an avenger that's a terrible question that's absolutely terrible i love iron man he is like my ideal man and justice league i mean there's aquaman I mean, and Batman, oh my gosh. How can you pick between the two of those? Oh, it does say be part of the team, though. I feel like if I was an Avenger, I would be a really bad Avenger. So I feel like if I had to be in one of them, I'd be in the Justice League because I, I feel like they are better and I would be able to get by with not doing much. And I feel like as an Avenger, you know, I, I it's just... I feel like I'd bring them down. So I'm just going to go with Justice League because I love the Avengers too much to be a part of them. <laughs> oh, would you rather be a morning person? A night owl, 100%. Not even a question. Not even having to worry about that. Would you rather be a male police officer with a high-pitched voice, be a male police officer with the appearance of an 8-year-old boy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It would be weird. I'd be I'd be okay with a high pitched voice. That'd be fine. It'd be fine. Would you rather be hung by a noose or decapitated by a guillotine? Okay, so this is where being a writer comes into play because I've researched both of these because you know you have to know these things. And I feel like if you get hung, it can actually last longer and be dragged out. So you're basically just strangling yourself. And a guillotine, why it may not cut all the way through like Nelly Head and a Snick for Harry Potter, the chances are more likely that you will get a clean cut through and you'll be dead instantly. So I'm going to go with guillotine. And 70% of people agreed with me. <laughs> What's the gallon challenge? Take the cinnamon challenge. I'm not doing the cinnamon. That would kill me. No, thank you. I'll say the gallon challenge just because I don't know what that is. That's probably a bad thing to say. Would you rather only wear skin tight clothing, wear clothes that always too big? Please. I'm a girl. I'm overweight. You know I'm wearing stuff that's too baggy. I'm too baggy. I don't want to wear things that are tight. What's four square? <laughs> I, I actually don't like the idea of dodgeball. Dodgeball scares me. I feel like if we if 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 dodgeball would have been a thing when I was in school, I would have been murdered. There's not even a question. I think my son has mentioned something about Foursquare before. I feel like he's told me that he's played that before and it doesn't sound as bad, so I'm just gonna say Foursquare. Um Be a hometown hero. Be a sea level celebrity no one really likes. Oh, okay, that's hard. Um, I honestly don't know. I can't decide. Would I be a hometown hero or a celebrity no one likes? 
let's be a hometown hero. Why not? Because, you know, if no one likes you, this what's the point, you know? Okay, if you could play one game, would you rather play a 10-day trial of World of Warcraft, play RuneScape Forever even without full membership? I don't remember what RuneScape is. I think it's the magic game looking thing. I don't know. My husband plays both. And I have played Warcraft before because I had a panda and he was adorable. So I'm going to do Warcraft because I really like that game. It was fun. I got to talk to a turtle and I was a panda. Uh, would you rather never have to grocery shop again, never have to do laundry 100%? How is that even a question? Like these 32 people who don't want to grocery shop, why? Is your laundry always done? I don't think so. And if it is, wow, superwoman. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> vomit rainbows poop rainbows oh no well I personally hate to throw up so I I 100% would say poop 100% let's see watch a movie directed by would you rather James Cameron or Steven Spielberg I, I have to say James Cameron I have to it's, it's kind of a rule I mean I would I have to <laughs> While watching TV, would you rather an audio two seconds earlier than the video, the video two seconds earlier than the audio? Either one of those drives me nuts. Absolutely insane, crazy nuts. So I feel like with the audio being two seconds, I don't think it would be too much, but I feel like the video might be getting too much. Gosh, what a horrible question. Would you rather be on the Titanic or be Hitler's friend? So are we talking Leo's Titanic? Because I'd give Kate Winslet some, a run for her money in that case. But I feel like if you're Hitler's friend, I mean, could you potentially change history and then shoot him in the head? I mean, is that going to be a thing? Like, could you like poison him, you know, as a friend? You know, like, are you a friend that believes everything he does? Or are you a friend that kind of realizes he's gone too far? See, this is why you get into the would you rather game because it really starts to mess with you because you're like, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? So it's kind of mm, both ways. Um, let's be honest. If I was on the Titanic, I probably would have been in working class. I probably would have been with those poor souls that ended up just dying on the ship. So I will say be Hitler's friend just for the fact that I'm pretending that I'm a friend that realizes he's gone too far and probably ends up taking him out myself. Oh, look at that. That's a, that's pretty close. Would you rather watch only dramas for the last, oh, only comedies for sure. I mean, dramas are good for being a writer. Don't get me wrong. There's sometimes a, you have to just kind of get in a headspace and a drama or a particular scene definitely helps you kind of get in that moment um but if i had to do it for the rest of my life i i'm depressed enough let's not with the dramas let's do comedies and 86 percent agree with me yay uh would you rather <laughs> go to heaven or hell or be re reborn into a better or worse life well see that's the conundrum isn't it because if you're going to be reborn you don't know what your life is going to be like it could be bad could be good right and heaven or hell like well if you're gonna die hopefully you know you've been a good enough person which i'm sure most people are there are definitely some people who are not um but i feel like you know you could probably yeah i'm gonna do heaven or, or hell because i don't want to be reborn because you never know what's going to happen would you rather have a british accent or have an australian accent See, this one's easy for me because I still have a little bit of my British accent, but not much. So I feel like having an Australian accent would be cool because then I could sign like, you know, a crocodile hunter. <laughs> would be really fun. Uh, would you rather have no thumbs, have only thumbs? I mean, I don't know. I have kind of big chunky hands, so I feel like having no thumbs would be better. 
Because I feel like if you were old thumbs, like you couldn't wear your rings or anything. Like, I don't know. It just seems like it would be problematic. Would you rather see the future change the past? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, honestly, I don't know. Because, you know, obviously there's always something in the past that you think, you know, I could have done that differently or I could have approached this differently or maybe I could change an event that happens. And if you see the future, you know, you're not paying attention to what's happened has happened. But you could see the future. You'd have the potential to change it if maybe. I don't know. Because it says see the future. It doesn't say go to the future. So... I think for me personally, there's a couple of events in my past that I would definitely want to change. I don't know how I would change them, but I don't know. It's hard. I think I'd see the future because if you know, if you see where everything's going, then you'd know what to work on. So I'm going to say see the future because the past is in the past. I'm, I'm done dwelling. No more dwelling. If you had a daughter, I have a daughter. This is horrible. Have her die of terminal cancer at 18. Have her kidnapped and sold into the sex trade at 18. Okay, I have a daughter and she will already tell you that I am super overprotective. And honestly, in that situation, would I be Liam Neeson? And would I be able to break her out of it and kill people? Because that's kind of where my brain would go. Um... If not, then I'm sorry, but I'd rather her die than have to deal with that because that's, that's not okay. That's a horrible question. Would you rather be a major security guard or a terrible FBI agent? FBI have to deal with a lot of stuff. I'm telling you. I, I don't even want to be a terrible FBI agent. They have to deal with so many things. I'd rather be an amazing security guard. Because they, they have to deal with just a couple of things. Like FBI agents are like federal cases. And those are like not, no. Mm -mm. Okay, we'll do a couple more and then we'll call it. So, before you go to school or work every day, would you rather eat a breakfast of only jelly beans, eat a breakfast of only hot wings? Okay, so, I'm probably going to have a terrible response to this. But I don't really eat wings. Not because I don't like wings. It's because I have my condition and you know, specific sauces mess with it. So I've just got to the point where I just don't eat wings. And I love jelly beans. Like the the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans from the Harry Potter movies. I love those. I know. And even if they're gross flavors, I still love them. Jelly beans are where it's at. So I'm totally going to have jelly beans. Because I love jelly beans. <laughs> Again, this is a horrible, horrible choice because I hate liars and I hate cheaters. It's like a pet peeve of mine for both of these. Um, and I feel like to be a cheater, you'd have to be considered a liar as well. So, I don't know. This one's hard. I, I'd rather be considered a liar because be, if you're considered a cheater, then you've obviously already been lying anyway. So... Horrible, horrible. Oh my gosh. Would you rather dance like Michael Jackson or sing like Freddie Mercury? As I said, I'm from England, so I'm all about Freddie Mercury. And to dance like Michael Jackson would be amazing, but I've got to go with Freddie Mercury on this one. I think I feel like if I was born in America, I would have said Michael Jackson. But since I'm from England, Freddie Mercury is like life. Queen is life has to be Freddie Mercury. I'm sorry, Michael. Would you rather be in a car accident that kills only you, be responsible for a car accident where you live, but your five closest friends of No, that's horrible. Of course I would prefer it to be just me. Oh my gosh, that's not even a question. Wow, those 12 people, shame. Shame on you. Shame. <laughs> 12%. Shame. Would you rather be homeless or be a slave? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like out of the two, I wouldn't be a slave. That'd be way more fun. Um, 
Would you rather? Again with the jelly beans. Jelly beans. Anytime there's jelly beans, it's going to be jelly beans. Tell me your embarrassing secret to 10 people. Eat 5,000. Oh, yeah. Jelly beans. Easy. Piece of cake. In any given situation, would you rather be the first to die, the last to die? Again, it depends on the situation. If it's something that's like, I don't know. Like if, if it means you're going to be watching everyone else die and then you're the last to die. I don't know. Then you like know it's coming. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like talking on stage, right? If you're the first one to talk, then it's done and it's over with. If you're the next person to talk, then, you know, you have longer for the nerves to build up. And then if you're the last person, you're just getting more and more and more nervous. So, yeah, maybe the first. Sure. Take me out first. Okay, we'll do one more. Would you rather you have to eat the same meal every day for the rest of your life? Eat whatever you wanted except once a month you have to eat a doo-doo sandwich. A doo-doo sandwich. Oh, my gosh. Who wrote this? Like a four-year-old? Why don't you just call it a poo sandwich? Or, or crap. I don't know. Why doo-doo? That's funny. Um, have to eat the same meal every day for the rest of your life. I don't know. Because, I mean, if it's only one sandwich and it's only once a month and you just eat whatever you want, then couldn't you technically eat the doo-doo sandwich and then just eat, like, a ton of other crap after? You know what I mean? Like, honestly, I don't even think I'd be able to get it down. But let's do that one. <laughs> 36 people are like, so your 6% is like, sure, let's eat poo. It's fine. Whatever. 64% <laughs> is like, no, poo's not worth that. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I'm going to call it here. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know, too, if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much. Um, I actually am having a promotion for Valentine's Day coming up. Um, I think I'll start announcing things Monday, so look out for Monday's post. Um, I love you guys. Always keep fighting, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.